Let's talk mascaras. So I put on my Instagram at Breck House um, about having a mascara wardrobe. And what that means is if you think about having mascaras like you think about having bras. So you have one bra for the gym, one that's super comfy for lounging, one for date night, one that pushes the girls up, um, one that's a great under a t-shirt. You know, you have all these different bras, right? Well, it's the same thing with mascaras. They all do different things. So you have one for lengthening, one for thickening, one that's better for all around, one's dramatic. So if you think about mascaras that way, um, you think about what you want, right? Um, you also need to think about what kind of hair you already have. So myself, I have a little bit thinner hair. My lashes aren't too amazing, to be honest. They're not exceptionally long. They're not really thick. They're not really voluminous. Um, but they're not terrible either. So they're just kind of your average lashes. Um, some people have those really short, non-existent lashes. Some people have full, thick lashes, um, like my sons. <laughs> some have super long that need more thickening. They don't like the length. You know, there's all these different types. So you have to think about what you have and then what you want your end result to be. Do you want it dramatic? Do you want it lengthening? Do you want it thickening? Do you want a really soft look? Do you want a kind of a harsher, spikier, dramatic look? You know, so you have to really decide what you want. Myself, I tend to go for department store mascaras, not because I necessarily think they're better quality, right? But because I get to try them before I buy them. So if you walk into a department store, a makeup artist will open up your mascara, grab a wand, put it in, let you try it on, right? I like that. I think with mascaras, with foundations, most of the time with skincare, with your brows, anything that's kind of a foundation makeup for you, right? I think you should be able to try it before you buy it. So mascara is one of those things. I like being able to do that. Um, there have been some questions on my Instagram. So I hope that I answer those all while I'm doing this. Um, and I'll go through them at the end to make sure that we answer them. But if you have any more questions, you can post them on here or on my Instagram at Breck House and I will be sure to answer them. So I'm really familiar with Mac. Obviously I've been with Mac. I was with Mac for eight years or something like that. Um, and so I'm familiar with them. Um, but that doesn't mean that I necessarily think um, MAC has the best of the best, right? So mascaras, MACs um, are between $17 and $22, which is actually a really good price for department store mascara. The reason they do that is so that you can um, exchange them out every three months. You should be throwing away your mascara and getting a new one every three months because that is your natural hair growth. So by the time three months is over, all your lashes have already, um, uh, they've, replace themselves so it's a fresh start so that's when you should start over with your mascara too so that's why they do that and i think that's genius and with mac they really say what they're gonna what they claim to do they really do um so it's more bang for your buck too so anyway so i'll get into these so i got a couple questions about um my favorite like all around mascaras so these are my three favorites, okay? The first one, and I got a question about a lengthening mascara, is this MAC Extended Play Mascara, okay? This is like $17. This is what I take on trips with me. This is usually what I wear every day. Um, the wand is really little, right? It's like super skinny. So that allows you to get to the very base and then pull out to lengthen, okay? The formula is a little bit thinner, um, but it's not so thin that it makes your lashes really spiky. So pretty much since this wasn't invented, um, I've been able to put this on every single person, okay? And they come back for more because they love it. So this is a great one for every hair type. It's the MAC Extended Play, okay? Then my other favorite, and this is for um, the volumizing, okay? This is False Lash. And I think this is fantastic. I'm pretty sure every single person that I've ever referred to this mascara has come back and said this is their new favorite mascara, and it's awesome. Um, so look at the brush, right? It's super thick and fatty. Um, that means that it'll go in and really chunk up right there at the base and then kind of pull out a little bit. Um, so it's not extremely lengthening. Um, it's really voluminous. It's awesome. Okay, and that's what I have on over here. So I'm sorry I'm not applying mascara right now for you, but I, this is like my fourth take on this video. So I, my eyes are kind of shot right now, so I'm not doing it. Um, and then for lengthening and thickening. So this one 
It's a little bit softer. It's MAC Mineralized line. They, not a lot of people know that we have or they have a mineralized line. Um, it's got 77 different minerals in it, whether it's their foundation or powders or blushes or mascara. Um, it's got 77 different minerals, which is softening. You know, nothing to write home about here with that brush um, or the formula, really. It's just like lengthening and thickening, and it's soft. But the thing I like about this is I could layer three or four coats and it's not like super chunky. It just gets more dramatic, but not bad, okay? So my top three favorite mascaras for every type of hair, just depends on what you want. If you want volume and thickening, go for false lash. If you want lengthening, go for extended play, okay? My favorite all around. And then if you want lengthening and thickening, soft mascara, that's your Mineralize with MAC, okay? So those are good choices for everybody across the board. Now let's get into more specialty. So I just barely bought this Stila. Look how cute that package is. Um, this is called their Maya High Lash, and I love this. I love the brush. You see that? Really allows me to play with my lashes and get in there and just kind of um, put my lashes where I want them to be, which I love to play with my lashes, so that's important to me. So this one's a little bit thicker formula. Okay, so this is more dramatic than those other ones. Those other ones are pretty soft, like an everyday type of mascara. This one's a little bit more drama. This is the one that I have right here. You see that, how pretty that is? Okay. I love this. That's just one coat of it, but you can layer a couple times. So this is a great option. I think this was like $24 or $27, something like that. That's a really good one though, okay? So if you want a little bit more drama. This one is going to be for a more natural lash, right, like I have, um, or that's going to work for a thicker lash. If you have a little bit thinner lashes, okay, and sparse or not as long, this might tend to look a little bit clumpy on you, okay? So just like just what I'm guessing so maybe steer away from this unless you have more normal lashes okay um then this let's get into a waterproof okay I do not recommend a waterproof lash every day okay it's too harsh for your lashes there's plenty of water resistant formulas or um, even just normal formulas for something that doesn't require you know a waterproof or water resistant um, that are that are really good and wear really well but this is still a bit drying, so it's going to be, make your lashes brittle, may even make them break or even come out too, okay? But look how cool this is. And they have a, they have a non-waterproof version of this. Um, so this is the Hot and Naughty Lash Waterproof. So that brush, you see that? It's got like tons of, of mascara on it. It's really chunky, right? But then watch what happens, okay? So I'm going to unscrew this end and watch what happens over here. Okay, so you pull it out. See, it just cleaned off all of that, and that's what you're left with, okay? So the hot part is the double where it's got all that stuff in it, and then, I mean, I'm sorry, the naughty part is where it got all the stuff in it, and then the hot part is the little bit cleaner. So I keep this for brides or special occasions, um, and I what I usually do with it is I put the naughty part, so the really thickening on the top lashes, and then the bottom lashes, that hot part, or the softer lashes, okay? So yeah, so you could try that too. This one's like $22, so it's like getting two mascaras in one, really which is really cool. Okay, and then another all around that I love is this one, and check out this brush. So this is the, this is the Big Fatty from Urban Decay, and check out this brush. I love this, because there's not too much mascara on it. You don't have to like clean it off. It's not gunky, anything like that. It's a rubber brush, okay, that's different on every single edge, but then it's also got that rounded bristles on top that get in and you can kind of pull your lashes and push them. You know, like I said, I like to play with my lashes. Um, so that's what that one does. And this is drama. Okay, this is like, I said this one was a little bit more dramatic. This one's even more dramatic. Okay, but this is awesome. And it's soft still too. Okay, you're not going to get like super brittle lashes. Um, I don't use a lash primer. I'm really interested. MAC just came out with a fiber rich. Um, lash primer that my awesome makeup artist friend Bonnie texted me. She's like, you need this because Fiber Rich Mascara was my favorite and what makes it different and what makes what's going to make this primer different is the bristles, okay? They kind of look like this, like they're little like spidery legs, right? But that what that does is go in and grab every single lash and it pulls it out. And then it also had little fibers in it, which I think is what this primer does too. It has little fibers in it that plump up your lashes and then also add length to them too. So I'm really interested to try that. But as, as the most part, my lashes are too thin. They're not thick enough. You know, the actual hair is too thin um, to wear a primer. It makes them look spidery, and I don't love that look so much. But what works for one person, what works for somebody at a department store counter to like a makeup artist, 
may not work for you. So remember those questions. What kind of lashes do you have and where do you want to go with your lashes? What do you want them to do? Um, and that is really important because you could go in and, you know, spend $20, $25 or even, you know, $12 at the department store, I mean at the drugstore and come home with mascara that just doesn't work for you. I mean, case in point, every makeup artist, you know, at MAC raves about these extreme dimension. This is a gel whipped formula. Um, my lashes can't hold up to gel formula and that's like the new rage right now with all different lines. Um, and the reason is because my hair isn't thick enough. So if you think about putting gel on your hair, if your hair is not thick or curly where you need definition, if you put gel just like on straight hair, what happens? It gets like stringy and spiky, right? Same thing with the gel formulas for me, okay? But if you have thicker or more voluminous um, lashes or even curlier lashes, this is gonna be beautiful on you. Like I know a lot of people that's really pretty. So think about those questions when you go in um, and try before you buy is my suggestion. Go in with your regular eye makeup on, no mascara, and just go ahead and do your lashes right there. Um, and then wear it around the mall for a little bit or wear it home and then make sure, um, you know, to just make sure to try it, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, and then also I got a question about how long to wait in between coats. I don't wait in between coats. The longer I wait in between coats, and this is for the most part for everybody, um, the clumpier it gets. So I don't know what formula you're using, but you may, if you're finding you need to wait a while and then put more on because it's getting you that, um, you know, that fullness that you want or that d drama that you want, maybe try switching up to just a more dramatic mascara. That might just do the trick, you know? So try something like the Stila, this one right here, or the Big Fatty, maybe. You know, maybe try one of those um, and see if that doesn't, you know, one or two coats, one or after the other. But I don't wait, and the reason, because is the longer you wait in between, obviously the drier the mascara gets, right? And mascara tends to get a little bit hard when it dries. So if you go on and you put another coat on, all it's gonna do is stick again on the outside, right? It's gonna get kind of sticky and clumpy. But if you have, if, but if it's still wet, right? And then you go on and you put it on again, it's just gonna seamlessly layer those two together. So I wouldn't wait in between at all. Um, but yeah, try those ones. I will list each one in the description below that I've put. Um, and also what's really cool is Mac makes these little trial sizes of these different ones. Um, not every single type that they have, but these are $10. So you can go and try them for 10 bucks and see if you like them even, okay? So if you try it on the mall, wear it around, and you're like, yeah, I want it, but I still wanna try a little bit, try it, just go buy one of those little baby ones. Um, okay, post questions here or on my Instagram at Breckhouse, and I will definitely answer those for you. Okay, hope that helped. Bye.